Well, good for John Stewart. Give him some, some props for this. Huge, huge props. And you, know, you lose sight of the fact 9 11 in itself was a huge deal, but the, the collateral damage, the secondary effects from that event will never stop. Nope. You know, we're talking about here, it's sort of like secondhand smoke. Right. The, the, the effects of having breathed all these particles, primarily as asbestos. But how about the families, too, that lost the providers for their families? I mean, it goes on and on and on. The, the, the pictures after 9 11, if we forgot, of first responders as everyone was fleeing, running Going to in. the scene. To a scene where 200 to 400 tons of asbestos fibers Think about were that. floating in the air. A plume. I mean, it was, it was like a the thickest smoke that I've ever seen. And, and here's the thing about first responders that, that I want people to understand, and I know this from way back when I was a teenager and I became certified as, as an EMT. The credo of first responders, they don't pass a test to be certified or licensed if they don't utter these words. I don't go into a scene unless the scene is safe and my gloves are on. What did those first responders do on 9-11? And by the way, what do they do every single day in this country? They go right into a scene. They don't think of themselves. By the way, that's not what they're supposed to do, but they do it, and they do it for us. And I think we have to remember, this sets a precedent here that is not only a slippery slope, it's a dangerous one. What? If we don't stand up for the people who are standing up for us, Exactly. Think about that. They, they put themselves in harm's way and, and put us ahead of their, their own lives. I, right. I don't get what Congress is thinking. Of well, this. I think there, there are a lot of reasons why um, decisions are made or not made that make no sense. And it comes down, I think, to politics a lot of times. And but, money. But when you look at these numbers, so, so let's think about this. 1,400 plus first responders have already died from health complications that are thought to be due to this tragedy. 60 to 70,000 responders were exposed to this toxic dust. Is it not incumbent on us to send a message here and get the funding in place? We waste so much money on so many things right. in this country, and I get it. We have to be fiscally responsible. Right. I, look, I understand all this, but this should just be a no-brainer. Travis Stork for happen. president. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Stork for president. <laughs> This is, I mean, I was in New York City in 9-11. I was one, I was supposed to be on call at my hospital that night. I had to show my ID, doctor's ID badge to get across the George Washington Bridge because they were only letting first responders in and down to the scene. I saw firsthand the debris plume that was going up there. And I, I think people need to understand this was not an isolated event. There will be more. And these first responders endanger their set themselves every day. So we us. echo John Stewart, Congress. Anyone listening, yes. hear our pleas. Get this done. Yeah. Get it yeah. done. It's the right thing to do. Let's move on.